In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a double exposure effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So before we do the double exposure effect, it's really important that you have two pieces of footage. Now, the first piece of footage can be literally anything. It doesn't matter what you capture. So this could be a city skyline, a shot of some nature. It can be anything. But the second shot is more important. The second shot needs to be a silhouette shot of somebody against a white background. Now, if you don't know what a silhouette is and if you don't know how to capture a silhouette, then I did do a full video, which you can click up here. And that explains how you can light a scene to create a silhouette effect. And this is needed for this particular effect. Essentially, though, it's just a case of lighting a white wall, standing in front of the wall and making sure that the subject is completely dark. You want the person in front of the camera to be completely in the shadows and the back wall to be completely overexposed. This is how you're going to create that silhouette effect. But once you've got those two video clips and you've dropped them into Adobe After Effects, we can begin editing the double exposure effect. So we're inside of Adobe After Effects and you can see we've got these two video clips on the composition. So you can see you've got this silhouette shot of myself and then if I turn this layer off, you can see we've got the London skyline. And this is the layer that we're going to put behind the silhouette in the double exposure effect. So you first want to make sure that your silhouette is on the top layer and you want to make sure the video you want to appear below is on the bottom layer. Now, essentially, it's just a case of going into your mode. And if you can't see the mode, then you want to make sure you select toggle switches slash modes. So if this is what you're seeing, press that button and you'll see mode. If you can't see that for any reason, though, then just right click or double click go into columns and make sure that you can see modes. So with that turned on, you just want to go into normal, go up to screen and select screen. And as you can see, the double exposure effect is kind of happening, but it is bleeding through this white background. And that's because if we go back to normal, you can see this isn't exactly a perfect bright white. It's sort of a in between. It's not lit exactly the best. So this is where we're going to use some levels to adjust that and make that really bright and white. So we'll search for levels in effects and presets. We'll drop levels onto that silhouette layer. We'll go to input white and we'll pull the input white all the way up until it looks like the background is a perfect white. So somewhere around here. Then we'll go into our mode again on that silhouette layer. We'll go back to screen. And that is starting to look really good. Of course, you can make some fine tune adjustments here if you want to. So if you wanted to see part of the subject coming through, as you can see, you can see my skin coming through. And I'm doing that by pulling the gamma up a little bit. You can also pull the output white up as well if you wanted to create a softer double exposure effect. That's completely up to you. So you can make this really soft like that. You can also do that by pulling down the input black. So if you pull this down, it's going to create that even softer effect like so. But once you've adjusted your brightness on the whites and you've increased some shadows, you will now see you've now got yourself a double exposure effect. Of course, if this is a little bit too big though, then you can always go into layer new solid. Use this eyedropper tool to select the background color. Press OK. We'll drop that under everything. Then we'll select these two layers. We'll right click, go pre-compose. We'll call this double exposure. Press S on the keyboard to load scale. You can scale this down a touch and you can place this wherever you like. It's completely up to you or alternatively, you can go the opposite way and you can increase the scale of this. Or alternatively, you can add some keyframe animation. So if we go to position, press P to low position, click the stopwatch icon at the beginning, move over one second, and then we'll move the position over to the left. And if we render this out and play this back, you'll notice that this is animating over time. Of course, that is extremely quick, so you wouldn't have it that quick. You would increase the gap and have that as a four second animation or so just to make that more subtle. Basically, that is the double exposure effect now complete. It really is just as simple as getting some silhouette footage, dropping it into After Effects with some other footage, screening that layer, and just making sure that the contrast between the whites and the blacks in the silhouette layer are high enough to make sure that you're creating this double exposure effect inside of After Effects. And of course, this doesn't have to be just done in Adobe After Effects. The same technique can be applied and adapted to Premiere Pro. So if you've got Premiere and not After Effects, just follow the exact same settings, follow the exact same steps, and you'll get this awesome double exposure effect in your edit as well. But there you go. 
Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.